building. Let's walk around the back side. This is uh, Centurion from King Cobb Block. We're on West Street on uh, on what appears to be some type of hold up in the building of the poor house. I mean, they're fixated on that building. Um, but it doesn't look like any cops or police officers are around on West Street um, guarding on the corners or anything. There's just four cops down there. Oh, there we go. There's Leslie Collier right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's uh, Gina as well. Two more. We got Kevin, Gina, and Leslie sitting on the corner here. We're now here on West Street. Uh, right by the county administrative building. They're watching, they're watching the courthouse. I think the public has a right to know if we're if our safety is at stake or not. You call the station, but they'll, they'll give you directions. You call the supervisor, the supervisor will tell you. I don't have the right to be given that information. The supervisor doesn't tell me. I can't come back to you and say, hey, Gina, you didn't tell me anything. Well, Kevin, Kevin, you know what the Eighth Amendment of the New Hampshire State Constitution is? I'm not losing my job, so that, that's, that's, well, what, Kevin, that's what I can tell you guys. Kevin. Go to the supervisor. Kevin, you know what the Eighth Amendment of the New Hampshire State Constitution go says, to right? The supervisor. That, that's why, that's all I can tell you. Guys. I don't need to ask as a supervisor what you should, what you made it. You made a vow. You made a vow to protect the Constitution, right? So we're not gonna tell you guys anything. So you that, guys that's are, are hiding behind brick walls right now. Are we in danger by standing not behind a brick wall? I'm trying to stay out of the rain. The other okay. guys are also hiding out behind walls right. too. They've I'm got not machine even gonna, guns. I'm not even gonna bitch a whole lot. I just don't understand. Why we're walking down the sidewalk, there are multiple officers with machine guns down the street, but we don't know what we're looking for is clear people walking down the street. Like, can you put yourself? Kevin, did you not make? Listen, I, many people again, are walking down the street. That's perfect. You guys can call the PD. Right. I don't need to call the PD. I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm not going to give any information out, so that's the end result. I'm not asking about information yet. I'm just asking you, did you make a vow to put that badge on, make a vow to follow the New Hampshire State Constitution? Guys, we could go back and forth for hours. I'm just asking minutes. you a question because the and, Eighth and Amendment... Unfortunately, I still Kevin, unfortunately, it. unfortunately, we're your boss, and the Eighth Amendment says you need to answer our questions. Unfortunately, I'm still a human being, and I have the right to not answer Actually, your Actually, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're a magistrate ordained by the state of New Hampshire. No, no, you're not. When you have that badge on, you answer to me and every other citizen of this state. Yes, you do. Read the Eighth Amendment. You're in violation of it right now. So know what you're talking about before you stop flapping your mouth. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, it does work like that. Read it. Read it. The Eighth Amendment says you're accountable to the public no matter what. At all times, you need to be open and transparent. Read it. Google it since you're so good at it. Have a good day. I just want information. Yeah, you know, I just lost respect for you. Yeah, I thought you guys didn't want information. Oh, you, want you don't have respect for me. Oh, not anymore. What because am I you, do? you just. If he doesn't have respect for me. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Oh my goodness. Well, I, you want me to refer back to five videos ago when I was talking to you on the corner that you said you did have respect for me? Oh, you seem so heartbroken about it since you're violating the Eighth Amendment of the New Hampshire State Constitution. Oh my so obviously, you're, you're just uh, you're just uh, an arrogant, another he, he arrogant cop. Care about me. No. You know, oh no, I do care about you. I want you to follow the law and follow your oath. Remember your oath. There's no point. Both of you used to smile the first year you were here. Now you're just jerks. Oh my God! Why are you arguing? Let's just. Not. Nah, I'm just, just telling talk. them the truth. Let's just talk. <laughs> Another violation of the. So hard to just 
say, yeah, there's somebody with a hostage, or somebody's got a gun, you know, there's a danger, give a little bit of information. Oh, God. Oh God, I can't, I can't wait to, I can't wait to get out of the academy. I swear to uphold the U.S. Constitution, New Hampshire Constitution, foreign and domestic. I'm going to wear this badge and be accountable to the public at all costs. And I will follow every amendment that this state has. But when it fits you the most, you want to sit on the toilet like you like you wiping your butt with a newspaper and you don't care about what people think anymore. Good night guys. Have a good night. Yeah. Good night talking to you. <laughs> okay, badge bully.